we go. The title of this talk is a play on the many terms for research involving space and place in studying the past. It is often noted that geography and history are closely related. I agree with Alan Baker here that neither can afford to ignore or neglect the other. In any case, this question has driven my own research. How can geography and history be bound together in digital systems? Well, one way is toponym, that is, place names in gazetteers. The same question has been addressed for scientific fields, especially at UCSB since the mid-90s with the Alexandria Digital Library Project and its gazetteer. I'm a co-investigator and developer of the World Historical Gazetteer Platform, which you can check out at whgazetteers.org. Our mission is this, supporting the aggregation, linking, and publication of historical place data contributed by researchers studying the past from many disciplinary perspectives and the use of that data in teaching. Consider a simple historical where question. Where was the U.S. Declaration of Independence signed? The answer, of course, is Philadelphia, but also any of these 70 or so names. So if you search for Philadelphia in WHG, you'll find there are several around the world. And choosing the most likely one brings you to a place portal where information from multiple sources has been gathered. Three attestations have been indexed for this Philadelphia so far, two modern and one from a historical atlas. There's a temporal footprint of those attestations and some physical geographic context. You also learn a user has created a thematic place collection about an 18th century journey that includes Philadelphia. You can preview the places in that collection, read its abstract, and then navigate to its page on the site. And if you had searched for any of the other names we have for Philadelphia, you would have been led to the same place portal. The underlying principle is this. Records for the same place, Vienna is indicated here, may have different names and different projects from different disciplines. They are linked with each other by matching name authority identifiers facilitated by features on the WHG site. Well, back to scientific data, the Nowhere Graph Project based at UCSB, the University of Vienna, and several other institutions is doing a similar thing, broadly speaking. The most significant differences with the WHG system conceptually are different knowledge domains and temporal scope. So what connection might these two projects have in the future? It's hard to say yet, but we have begun discussing that here in Vienna. Thanks very much for listening.